1980, we bought this small market here. It was a, a mini market, and, and uh, we were doing fairly well until it's two superstores started having at it with each other. We got caught in the middle, so we kind of diversified, started getting ready for a little supermarket and started doing sporting goods and liquor and beer. Yeah. It had to be in like in 1980. Let me see, I'm thinking 1980 or 1981 when Gary came to town. You know, I got to know him. I had this little tiny shop. He asked me about if I'd like to sell his products. And I said, sure. So I started putting them in. And I just had a little tiny bit. And over the years, I kept adding and adding and adding and adding. And so we have almost everything we make. This is getting to be a hub, hub area for tourism because Lake Powell is kind of unique, this little town is kind of unique because we have the Grand Canyon to the south, we have Bryce and Zion Canyon this way, we have Monument Valley this way, we have Horseshoe Bend here, we have, we have, you know, we have, it's a hub. You can come here and stay here for days and we just keep going in all directions. Oh, that's, that's the key to a small business to keep, keep yourself alive, is to, is to know your customer. And, and to keep him coming back. I always felt that I was one of that guy that, 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 that feel like he belonged in here. And also, you get to know him, you call him on his first name basis. Okay. He comes in the door, you say, good morning, Joe, how you doing? What have you been doing? How's it been? And go from there. And he starts talking to you about fishing tackle, well, and you just keep on going. But you need to know him, and you need to make him feel welcome. And she, and even a little, little tights, little kids. We treat them little kids like, like we're the grandparents. Because that little guy is our next, they're our future customers. And they remember us.